is uh, again we, we heard those uh, case studies where we where social was a really an enabling uh, tool for a strategic vision and uh, now we want to discuss this a little bit also with some more experts but uh, Emmanuel told me that he did a uh, research in Italy on uh, on the uh, social perception or the, the per perception of social within I Italian companies. So he will give us a, a short talk about his results, what he has observed, and afterwards we have a short uh, 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 a discussion with some more experts. Emmanuel, thank you very much. Good morning, and thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Emanuele Quintarelli. I'm in charge of social enterprise uh, in the EMEA Center of Excellence in EY. Uh, first of all, why we did this research? We did this research because we were depressed. You know, I've been doing social enterprise for the last, I don't know, seven years, eight years. And we really wanted to understand the, the level of maturity how much social enterprise is a strategic uh, initiative or is it is not. And unfortunately, as you will see, the results are not encouraging, but uh, I would like to use these results, these numbers, as a starting point to discuss with Luis Suarez, with David Terra, and with all the others in, in, in the panel about how we can improve our organizations how we can bring out people on board and make them more important to organizations. So the key questions we try to answer is, what differentiates uh, leaders from laggers? Is there anything, any trick, any strategy, any suggestion that we can use to improve our social business transformation journey? And I think we have something to share. So what can we do to bring down, to break down the walls of the social enterprise? This is the question everybody is asking. Clients, consultants, are we ready for takeoff? Is it social enterprise really at the point where we have reached maturity? The first outcome from our study on 300 companies in Italy, but I believe the results will resonate with non-Italian customers and even non-European uh, companies is that yes, social enterprise, social collaboration is getting more important, at least at half of the companies in our sample, but this number will become three out of four companies in three years. So social, enter social enterprise is important and it is even more important for companies that are already along the journey, quite 10% more. Why it is important? Because it helps with internal efficiency, uh, it helps with having groups working together from different locations, it helps with knowledge reuse, it helps with a number of fragmented use cases. So it seems that everything is fine, we're already in a good shape, but we are not. We are not. This is dramatic. Most of the organizations we have talked to haven't reached more than 10 to 20% of adoption. That means that uh, social enterprise is only a pilot. It's not really strategic, it's not really business, it's not really value. That's the majority of the organizations, and if you look at the other side of the picture, a ridiculously small portion of our sample, 7%, uh, has reached, uh, if you want, a perv pervasive adoption. So they have built a sort of connectivity glue in which any department and any employee is immersed, 7%. That's the state of the market, at least uh, in our sample. What is the issue? The issue, and this is not really a surprise, is about the top management not able to perceive the value, 60%, or the culture, not really fitting into a social enterprise setting, transparency, openness, bottom-up participation, and even the leaders are struggling. The leaders are not struggling with culture, are not struggling with uh, uh, the management, they are struggling with measuring the ROI, seeing the benefits. So if you put those two together, you see that the journey is still quite long. 
So the question is, what does differentiate the two of them? The leaders from the laggers, and how can we improve the state of the market? How we can help as consultants the, our customers to be more successful, and you as practitioners, how can improve your own initiatives? I'll share the six points that we have discovered, the six top answers. The first one is the engagement by the top management, the sponsorship, the buying, the support. There is no way you can reach an enterprise-wide adoption without the top management. We were discussing with Luis a few years ago. He was saying, yeah, let's start it from the bottom. Yeah, of course, social enterprise transformation is about the people, and with that, I mean also the ranks, but it cannot scale without management support, and this is the first factor in our survey. The middle management is another key hot topic in, in conferences. In our experience, this is not true. The middle management is a barrier only for laggers. So in other words, when you have top-down commitment, there is nobody in the middle of the organization that can sabotage the project. But if you don't have that commitment, you can be sure that somebody in HR, in IT, from the business, will stop some way your project. So understanding how to bring the management on board is key. I don't believe, as somebody was discussing on Twitter, that you can do that uh, since the beginning. It's very, if you can do that, I'm very happy for you. This is not my experience. It's very tough to make the management understand the potential where they don't know what Facebook is, they don't know what uh, an co internal community is, they don't know what transparency is. So yes, having them on board is important. Uh, bringing them on board is not easy. The second point is the strategy. And with that I mean having a strategy. Most companies I know about haven't any strategy, any rollout strategy of any kind. So the first point, having a structured strategy in terms not only of technology, but also of people, processes, transformation, measurement, and so on. And you can see on the right that the most successful project actually balanced a top-down approach, the management, with a bottom-up approach two times more. So that's, those are two sides of the coin. And it's our job as project managers to bridge those two sides. And again, this is not easy because people, their interests, their expectations are quite different from those of the management. So it's a kind of hybrid strategy, a kind of monster, but we need it. Another key point is about people. You know, half of the laggers have no one in charge of collaboration, no one, even part-time, even for free, even during nights, no one. While this is true only at one out uh, of 10 <coughs> in leading companies. We are talking about community management, we are talking about services, we are talking about content. There is no way you can make it work if nobody is caring. And if nobody is caring, it is not strategic. So creating the resources, it's, if you want, the uh, central enabler of, of social enterprise. Another point, money. 56% of laggers had no money at all. And with that, it means ten, less than 10,000 euros in our experience. While the leaders had at least 100,000 euros a year, 3.5 three times more. And that's not lots of money, actually, if you are talking about technology, talking about uh, training, talking about building some kind of strategy. And nonetheless, uh, only a portion of our sample had that kind of money, but more than this, the money had, uh, has been spent by leaders not on technology only, but on strategy, change management, and community management, 50% more. And again, in most projects I know, this is not happening. The money is spent on licenses, on servers, on uh, maintenance, and so on, integration. That's good, but that's not enough. Another point is about measuring. You know, measuring is important for steering the community, but also for selling the value of the community. Again, half of the laggers have no measuring at all. It's like... Uh, 
driving uh, when you are blind. So you, you don't know what you're, you're going. You're just going to crash somewhere. You don't know where. 9% of leaders are not measuring. It means that 91% of them have some measurement in place. And uh, again, this is not only measuring participation, comments, number of users, traffic. It is about understanding the business outcomes from the project. It could be cost reduction, it could be new features, it could be uh, a shorter cycle, whatever you want, but it should be business. And my very last point, social business is year ready. The leaders are not only engaging their employees, they're engaging employees to engage customers. They're bridging internal communities and external communities at least uh, in one third of the cases, and in the next uh, two years, it will become half of the leaders. So this bridge, internal, external, breaking down the walls of the enterprise is happening, at least for the leaders, and this is where the money is, in my experience. It is about embedding, embedding collaboration into processes, especially customer-facing processes, if you think about innovation, if you think about customer service, if you think uh, about uh, uh, competitive intelligence and so on. This is really huge and the vendors are betting on these internally and externally. So this is my last slide. Just to recap, the market is not there yet. And we know that we have to push in terms of management, in terms of strategy, in terms of people, in terms of measurement, in terms of integration. It is very easy, but this is not happening. So my question for the panel is, how can we make it happen? And also for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Emmanuel.